What's up guys, it's your boy SidishYT and I'm here with my first ever Wizard 101 video. So as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be discussing uh, uh, pet talents and how long it takes to get a perfect pet. It doesn't matter what you want, if you want all, heal, all healing talents, a lot of resist, a lot of damage, it takes a long time. Let me tell you this right now, for you uh, newbies out there. It takes a long time to get a perfect pet, unless you get lucky. I have two examples from my home experience. My Death Wizard got very, I would say he was probably got average luck. My Ice Wizard got very lucky with his pet. But let me let me show you what ha happened. So this is my um, Death Wizard here. So here we go. Whiskers, this is my stoning pet. Sprite, Unicorn, Fairy, uh, Spare Proof, and my cast Amplify. I don't know where Amplify came from, but that's why I had. So as you can tell, this is, uh, I was going for this. Let me show you my perfect pet. I got it. I was going for quadruple damage and spell proof. And the socket could be whatever. Didn't matter to me. I just popped on accuracy because it helped me uh, mix cresting a lot faster. Because I don't fizzle as much. Alright, so let me show you guys my first hatch. So this is my first time making a pet, like a legit pet, like one I'm super serious about and that I was like really excited to get. So my first hatch, this is what I got. Triple damage and two heals. And I was like, I was, at this time, I was thinking to myself, this is pretty good. This is this is super easy. I already got triple damage. The next hatch, I should be like, there. I, I should have a perfect pet the next hatch. Well, you don't know how long it was. So this is my first hatch, right? And then the next pet, look what happened. It failed at Ancient. I got Unicorn. Double damage from Unicorn. I was like, okay, unlucky. Let me go on to the next one. And here comes the next one. Oh wait, that's my uh, perfect one. The next one, Sprite. It fell at a teen. So, I was kind of mad because uh, like, okay, if you don't have like a max uh, wizard, like a max storm or whatever, any max wizard, getting gold is going to be hard. I have some pretty high levels, so I can get gold. I, fo I golden like evil mac and peace and they drop like a bunch of TCs and reagent. I can sell for money. Money, gold is easy for me to come by, but for you like low levels out there, Getting like 50,000 coins to hatch like every other day or even every day can be very hard, especially getting Mega Snacks and stuff. So I was even I was still glad it fell at Teen because if it fell at Mega, I would have used up a lot of snacks and that would have sucked. Anyways, moving on to my next uh, hatch. Boom, fell at Teen again. I was like, I wasn't even mad. Like, at least it's found at teen, right? And then the next one. It got critical. At, although, I don't even know where critical came from. Like, you know how when you try to guess the pet talents in your pet's pool when it first hatches? I did that. And I had no I was like confident that I had the exact same stats as my hatcher. But no, critical came out of nowhere. So I was like, what the heck? And here, here's where the pain actually comes in. My very next one, quadruple damage, and guess what happened at Mega? Unicorn. You don't know how much I hated Unicorn at this point. Unicorn, Unicorn, Unicorn. At Mega, I was so mad, but I was so determined because I knew it was getting super close. Like, it had to be the next one. Like, my pet had to be the next one, right? Nope, look what happened the next time. Unicorn at Teen. So, at this point, you know, like, if I was alive, I'm never going to use the spell Unicorn, ever. Ever. That's how much I hated it. Hated it. Is that even the word? Anyways. And then, I'm gonna keep moving on. Mr. Rusty. It got fairy. I'm like, oh my gosh. Why are these, why are these talents come out of nowhere? Just give me the things I want. Like, oh. Like, I'm wasting a lot of time. I was super lucky though. My hatch, I hatched with one guy the whole time. And he was super nice. Like, he would hatch with me like every other day. With like, I asked him if he wanted some packs or anything, anything in return. He was like, no, it's all good. So, trust me guys, I know some people are kind of rude in the hatchery. And they don't hatch with you ever. But there's people out there that will, are willing to hatch with you. And stick with stick with you. This guy stuck with me for two weeks or maybe even three weeks for me to get my perfect pet. And they kept hatching and hatching. And he didn't ask for anything in return. So, you gotta, just gotta find those people. Make some friends. Go to Wizard 101 Central. There are a lot of good people on that website. Anyways, back to oh, 
I forgot about this one. Look, it failed again. Quadruple damage, and look what happened to Mega. Main cast, Fairy. Oh my gosh. And then, I have another fail. Unicorn again. <sighs> like, I was about to give up. I was about to, this, how many, how many hatches was this? Let me see, let me put in my uh, perfect one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had to go through 10 pets, 10 whole pets, before I got my perfect pet. I, I'm saying this is pretty average. If you're like a, you want to get a perfect pet and you're like a, you get some average luck, this is what is going to happen to you. About like 7 to like 10 hatches maybe. Maybe, or maybe I was just super lucky. Like I don't have a lot of experience, but I did get very, very lucky with my ice. So let me go show you my ice real quick. So, my ice, I was going for double resist and what is it? Triple damage. That's that's what all I wanted. D double resist and triple damage. So, let me show you what, uh, how lucky my ice was. If my game would load. Okay, here we go. Let me show you my starting pad. As you can tell, my inventory already is looking a lot better. So, this is my starting pad. Double resist, fairy, and amplified. Once again, don't know where the Amplify came from. Is, is it like a first gen um, talent for like a leopard or something? But my first hatch, this is what happened in my first hatch. I got uh, triple damage and make us very make us ice spear. So here's the issue with this pet right here it has th triple damage though, but it has 3% ice damage. That's not good. I want the 6% one. I think it's called Ice Giver. So, and it didn't get any resist. And you know what's really annoying about this one right here? It's a warlord pet, so I couldn't trade it to any other account. I had to wait for my energy to refill, and this is going on this guy, so it took forever for it to get a mega. And when it got to mega, you know, I got ice spear. So the very next uh, hatch I did, boom. Look at that. Triple damage and double resist. Sometimes, guys, like for my experience, it's good to take risks sometimes. Because... I'm pretty sure I got like fairy, I like ancient, or like adult, and I was about to like throw this pet away and go hash another one. But I was thinking to myself, what if, like, what if somehow it doesn't get any other talents and just gets damage and resist? So at Mega, I was looking for spell food at Mega. That's all I wanted because at Ultra I can pop on a socket for Ice Giver. So if it got spell food at Mega, this would have been a perfect pet. And yes, it did get spell proof. I got so lucky. Just two hatches. And I got one of the... Just a very good pet in my opinion. Triple damage and double resist. So there are two sides to this basically. You can either end up like my death. And take like, I don't know, how many hatches. 10 hatches. And how many gold is that? That's almost like 600,000 uh, coins. Or you can be like my eyes. Somehow get super lucky. And get uh, the perfect pet in two hatches. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So basically, my biggest tips for hatching is you need a lot of gold. You mean, like if you're cresting, a pet is not that important and stuff. Like cre like pet stuff is like new end game when you have a bunch of gold, you have max characters, and you're bored. But you know, best of luck to you guys out there. I hope you guys don't have too many have to do too many hatches, and find someone that will hatch with you. Also, if you find someone that hatches with you, like, const constantly, like, the guy that hatched with me for, like, three weeks, share, like, share, like, learn from that, and give back to the community. So, right now, like, if I need, if someone asks me, like, for, like, a hatch, and I see that they have, like, a really, like, bad pet, or, like, they have no way to start, and they want to get started, of course, I'm gonna say yes. Like, I can get goat so easily, it doesn't even matter for me. It, uh, the only issue... It's a timer, but I have like multiple accounts, so the timer is not even an issue. So if you have a good pet, and you know the struggle of getting a good pet, and some like little guy, some new kid just asks you for a hatch, you can just give him the hatch. It's not going to hurt you, especially if you have a max storm. You can get max gold in like one or two hours, so it shouldn't even matter. But yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about to you guys today. I hope you guys like my first... uh. Wizard 101 uh, video. I'm sorry my commentary is kind of bad. It's getting better. But if there's any tips for me. Uh, I can't even talk. 
uh, kind of ironic, but is there, if there's any tips you guys have for me, please leave it in the comment. But thanks for watching, guys. This is Sealish, and I'll see you guys next time.